Arctic are causing record amounts of sea ice to melt. And as Nick Clark reports from Greenland, it's threatening an age-old way of life for the Inuit people that live there. Disco Bay on the west coast of Greenland, where man and dog have always depended on one another, where countless generations have thrived off the bounty of the sea and the ice. Akaluk was orphaned as a three-year-old. He's now being brought up by his grandparents. In years gone by, there would have been no question that Akaluk would have grown up to hunt and to fish for a living like his grandfather. But not anymore. You see, Akaluk has heard the stories, the stories of sled dogs having to be shot because the ice is disappearing, of the struggle to earn money because the climate is affecting fish stocks. Akaluk's grandmother told me they were deeply worried about their grandson's future, about how he will survive. Of course, the Inuit have adapted to a changing climate in the past, but it's the speed of change that's different this time. It used to be a proud culture to be a huntsman, to be a fisherman. It's what the men are proud of. It's what they're made of. But today, it's like they're the lowest in the food chain. They have to go to the municipality to ask for money to be able to have food on the table. You know, I was reporting from Disco Bay five years ago, and there's no doubt to me that the ice is more fragmented and broken up now than it was then. And in itself, that might not mean anything at all, but to the local Inuits, well, they say it's yet another example of a warming climate changing their world. And this summer, another valuable source of income was hit. Only small boats could negotiate the broken ice in the bay. The visits of five cruise ships had to be cancelled with a consequent loss of tourist dollars. But as the climate warms, the possibilities do also grow. With the melting ice comes the potential of untapped resources. Experts, they are saying that uh, when the ice is melting, more solid ground will appear. And this solid ground has a lot of uh, wanted minerals. But that's some way in the future. The more immediate problem is right now. And the trouble is, what will be delivered in Doha is likely to be a million miles away from what's actually needed here in the Arctic. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Disco Bay, Greenland.